we're doing number 11 and 6.3. We look at this and we have a binomial. We have two terms. Uh, with special factor, this tells us we're probably looking at one of the perfect square uh, binomials we just worked with and we've been learning. But if we look at this, we see 18 and 98, they aren't perfect squares. A squared and B squared are. But what do we do? Well, we look at this, we go, oh, we can factor something out. If we look at both 18 and 98, we can take a 2 out. So let's start there and see what we've got. We're left with a 9A squared minus 49B squared. Now, is this perfect squares? Yes, it is. 9 is a perfect square, so is 49. So now we simply do our perfect square. That means we are left with 3A minus 7B, 3A plus 7 now, if this didn't come immediately to mind, you can put a zero, a, b in the middle and factor this like you would any other trinomial with your normal rules from 6.2 and you would just be looking for terms that cancel each other out. But that means you need the same term in each side, which means you need identical terms. So whichever way you remember is fine. Again, when you get here, if you're not sure if you've got the right answer, you can check this. Foil these, times back the two, you should come back to your original equation.